Hi journal journey peoples. Welcome to yet another journal entry from your girl Pat What All at Journal Entries. Thank you for liking, thank you for leaving a comment, thank you for letting others know about my journal journeys and my experiences being away from home. This is the first month of the year 2022 and probably the second time I am touching base since the year has, has started. Uh, right about now if you look around i'll show you will see me show you snippets of what's going on it's pretty cold where i am at right now uh we have lots of snow on the ground and it snows intermittently and periodically and it is what it is you're away from home it's a different not all tropics like being home we go through all the seasons and this season is what it is notwithstanding uh everything that we are going through we were already prepared to go through so i'm just bigging up my fans my my journal journey um persons and i thank you again for being on this journey with me uh it brings me great comfort and great joy when i see you touch base and you like or you leave a comment and you check in with me and that shows that you know the family is still there and everybody is still praying for me and my family this is what it is cold a bit now see and there's snow all over and the snow it's back up there you go and it's pretty cold yep it's pretty cold living away from home it's cold not tropics here walking on ice practically living like when you open your freezer, literally. <laughs> ah! See? The snow has pushed and banked up all over. Mountains of it. I'm not kidding. So, living away from home, it's not pretty. Snow. Snow. Wild high. Um, pretty high. Even if they clear the streets, it's all wild high. Wow. <laughs> So when you're away from home, it's not. You have to work harder, uh, 10 times more harder than when you're home amongst your peers because you have to prove yourself. You have to keep proving yourself that you can do what your credentials say you can do. And you have to keep moving forward. You can't become complacent in any any one job especially when you're trying to capitalize and build on your career you have to keep moving you have to keep growing and you have to keep learning and the more you learn the more you are able to transition your education your work ethics your experience and your competencies and your abilities and your knowledge it's better for you and you will become discouraged like sometimes even me I am discouraged you will become discouraged but because you know that you have made the transition you need to just keep pressing 
So I encourage myself to not lose hope and just to keep pressing because it's a different country. You are transitioning your skills from your local environment into an international environment. And therefore, your professionalism, your organizational skills, everything that you've ever learned before comes into play now. Conflict resolution, negotiation skills, every professional skill that you garnered, you have to be able to utilize them when you transition from a local level into an international level. Um, it can be daunting, can be very daunting, and especially when you're trying to build your career and go forward, but from my perspective and my background, I am not discouraged because I, I even if I if it comes, I move away from it because he who has begun a good work in me is faithful to bring it to completion. So I stand on the promise of God that whatever he takes you to, he will take you through it. And I also acknowledge that he says if we are willing and obedient he will allow us to eat the good of the land so wherever he has taken us and he has planted us and he has said grow walk according to his will and purpose walk in obedience to him he will not let you go hungry you know he will he will take care of your every needs and he will tell you where to go when to go, what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Because of the Holy Spirit that he has inputted in us, we have that conscientious mind that leads and directs us from an heavenly perspective and will not lead us astray, but help us to walk in the truth continually wherever we are, whether we are home, in our home country, or we are elsewhere in another country living away from home away from family and in winter time is where you feel the most away from your family especially if you you have you don't have that full family setting no matter if even if you have a full family setting here you still miss your family back home and Worse, with the pandemic, we're experiencing consistent lockdowns or bubbles again over time. It's still not ending. It seems like it's extending for another couple months. We are now in the fifth wave. But in all of that, my, my, my thing today is this is the beginning of the year, the first month of the year, this year, 2022, that the Lord has graced us for us to see uh, many disappointments, many discouragements, many difficulties. But with the determination that we have as a people of God, our individuals, hold on. If God said it, he will do it. And he says, if you're willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. And it's not all about you as an individual either. Because as we go out and we experience things, we share. And you all know that I journal. So as I journal, this is one of my entries now. I journal my daily steps. Um whether it was good or bad, whether I experienced difficulties in any area of my work or just personal life, I bring it before the Lord at the end of the day or at the end of the week or at the end of two days. I bring it to God. And sometimes myself will get in the way, but when you, you kind of have a self-talk or you have a prayer point or a prayer prayer time with God 
and he just enlightened you and show you like don't do this my daughter don't do that so i might be rambling but i just chatting and just um saying hello to everybody and just touching base and just saying we're well and no matter what it is i'll never let go of the unchanging hand of god so today's um point is living away from home working away from home uh it has its difficulties it has its distractions it has a lot of um i don't know but uh, you have to become adaptable to the different aspects of socialization but don't forget this everything that you learned in your professional life in your local environment it is key to your survival and growth and development in an international environment uh you'll be tested you'll be challenged people will think that you don't know it because you're coming from a different society and therefore you will have to work 10 times harder to prove yourself or to even but i mean i did it back home when you go into a new organization and people are not aware of your competencies your knowledge your skills and your abilities so for me i use i use it like just a new organization with of course the different aspects that comes with it and i I just transition you go to um know what the organization's about uh so you can fit in to the organization and be a right fit of course you were a fit in the first place while you were selected but in order to keep your position you have to show your efficiency and effectiveness and show your efforts and your skill sets so just getting a job is not enough but keeping that job and growing and developing in that job and transitioning and you can never become complacent sometimes that's how we feel because we feel we get too comfortable and we forget about growing our career and going to the next levels even in every part and every aspect of our lives we have to grow change has to occur so you never go into the organization one way and five years later you remain the same you have to keep moving have to keep getting more knowledge sharing knowledge as you go because knowledge management and sharing is very critical to who you are professionally as an individual and that will help your career as you go along when people see your your attributes your contributions to their 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 projects their their organization as a as a unit and as a whole and no matter what you do don't lose sight of you and your career and what you want to do with the rest of your life sometimes we get a job and it covers everything but there is no opportunities for growth and development we stay in it because we love it but at the end of the day our levels never change so we have to learn to become adaptable and grow as we go along and if you can't move from that position you add to it you add to it so you try to move along as you go in the direction that you want your career path to go into nevertheless uh I'm here still trying to transition. Transition process is not easy. It takes a while. It doesn't happen overnight. But my my thought today is keep journaling. Keep making the most of each day of your life and keep moving forward. We are in 2022 for a reason. The Lord has granted us and graced us with 2022. A lot of people never made it. So we have to keep giving God thanks that he has been faithful to us and kept us 
to this point and beyond. So, bye for now. Uh, thank you for journeying with me. Looking at my icy cold, snowy conditions. Missing my tropical Jamaica. But it's a, it's home away from home. But no in a better than a yard. Alright? Love you all. See you next time when I upload another journal entry. Bye. Your girl powered all. As we're having this little chat, I just want to say thank you again to my journal journeys people. This is your girl part what all to really know. Thank you for listening, thank you for liking, thank you for logging on and subscribing and letting others know about me and my journal journal <laughs> my entries. I love you. It's cold here, but I miss my tropics island. It is what it is. Home away from home. See you next time.